What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video that's gonna take me a while to upload. Damn, how loud. But yeah, welcome back to another video that's gonna take me a while to upload. Um, today we got a couple goodies for the SCI. You guys guess what we got? You guys guess some bride seats, bride bread. I don't know whatever you call it. Yeah, we got some. We got some Zeta 4s. Up in here. Ooh. Just got delivered, too. I was going to cut. And it got delivered, so. Yeah. I'm going to go unbox it for you guys and show you guys what it looks like real quick. Guys. Check this out. Hey. So we got some. Wait, let me let me take this out the box right quick. Man. Hopefully you guys can see me. Um, yeah. Let me get this thing. Oh, oh, there it is. Ah. Straight from straight from the mother of my hand right here. There it is, guys. Alright, so we got, so you guys can see, we got the, oh, what's that? We got the Bride Zeta Force. I got two pairs of them. And we got some Bride Rails as well. So, yeah, hopefully tight fit in here. Because I heard it's pretty tight. <coughs> oh, this is probably for the airbags. But it's a full bucket, non reclinable. We did the FRP backing, the silver, the silver with the sparkly. <laughs> but yeah, let, let, let's see if we go if I fit in here, man. Let's see if I fit in this. Let's see, let's see. I wanted these seats. I wanted these seats so that it'll help me maintain my weight and not gain anyway. You know, because yeah. All right. Oh yeah, we. Chilling, we chill. We chilling in here. Oh yeah, that's a little tight, but you know, we can lose a couple pounds. <laughs> but yeah, we chilling. We chilling. I thought it was gonna be tighter. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be super tight, but so that's why I started hitting the gym more. But. Now we're chilling. I think I believe this fits uh up to 33 waist size. So you know, all the girls out there trying to be the Sean Ride in an SDI, you know. Nothing more than a 33. Or else you're gonna be very uncomfortable. But yeah, here it is guys. Let me know what y'all think. I think it was sick. We went with the gradient style, the iconic bride gradient. Looks sick, honestly. Paired up with the roll cage that's installed but not installed. <laughs> H30 though. I still gotta install this with the guys, but this is ass to install. Let's see. We did a, we did um a whole interior makeover kind of. We got a new vertex steering wheel with energy hub and the flip up. Shout out to my boy Orlando for that. And we got a new head unit because my shit was ass. And we got some stars. I'm going to show you guys later. And then now we got some seats. So I don't know what else we got to do to the interior. But yeah, you guys let me know what else. Maybe a new shift knob. I don't know. We don't see. But this was definitely needed because the interior was lacking compared to the outside. The outside, you know, you can't. You can't be just nice on the outside, you know. You gotta be nice on the inside. Feel me? So, yeah, I'm gonna go and box this other one. And, yeah, we're gonna start installing them, hopefully. Um, I think I'm gonna start putting them on the rails and, you know, figuring all that stuff out, you know, all the fun stuff. But, yeah, guys, tune in to this. Yeah. All right, so here it is all together in its glory. 
So like I said, if you over 33 waist, can't fit in my car. I'm so sorry. You gonna have to be in the back seat with the cage, but here it is. Hey, all them details. Bride low max so we can be on the flow so I can look short as hell. Driving it even shorter. Oh. Now the fun part, everyone's favorite part, is the rails. These rails are taxed too. I didn't know how expensive this was. This was both of these was seven hundred dollars for some rails. Just so you can put the seats on the car. So yeah, so I mean you don't want to go cheap on the rail, so I was like, fuck it. Swipe. But yeah, guys. Let me go and box that shit for you. And, yep, we out ski. And here's the rails, guys. If you're wondering what $700 will get you, some rails. So, yeah, we got some rails. Passenger and driver's side, obviously. Got the little logo right there. And we got the type FOC rail, so basically you can move it front and back. I'll show you guys later. You pull that, obviously, like OEM, so. Yeah, so we gotta go build that and go fuck with it, so. Yep. Ooh, some Japanese. So what this basically says, um, I took Japanese in high school, so what this basically says is, uh, don't use for inappropriate activities. Will, it says will prevent you from doing inappropriate activities on the seat. Basically, that's basically what it says, so you guys don't worry about that, so. Yep, we got the type FO, so, yeah. Oh, took that off right quick. Right. Boom. Damn. I'll put that on. Put that back on right there. But, yep. <sighs> the fun part, installing them. Like Legos. You know, I love me some Legos. So, yeah. Catch you guys. Alright, guys. So, we got the first rail all situated. I don't know if I'm slow or not, but this took me a minute. Because this thing kept coming off the. Whenever I pulled it kept coming off them prongs so yeah we about to go put the seat on here and then yep all right so now we got both of them on the rails the second one was super easy since i already knew what to do basically so yeah i'm gonna go to work come back tomorrow and then install it working Ooh. but yeah I took off the power the auto power roll cage as well cuz it'll probably be easier to install these seats with that off so yeah I'm gonna catch you guys when we install them alright you guys so a couple days passed Maybe a couple months, and I'm gonna show you guys seats in the car. So there they go, and I ended up putting the roll cage in. This is a pain in the ass. This roll cage was a pain in the ass to install. And for you, those wondering, it is not bolted in. I was too afraid to bolt it in. Like, I didn't even get put this bolt in. I need to. But yeah, this is how the interior is looking now, you guys. What do you guys think? Love this interior. Love it. With the stars too at night, it's not on right now, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. The car is basically complete now, in my opinion. I don't know what else to put besides like engine stuff. And this is how it's looking right here. Ah. 
like so. And here I am. This is how I look. This is how I look. Oh. Put it right here. Oh, damn. This is how I look inside. Pretty snug. Pretty snug, but not too comfy, uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, guys. This is how she's sitting. Alright, so this is gonna conclude this vlog. Let me know what you guys think about the seats. My interior. Interior's not fully complete. Um Yeah, so we'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share to your mom, your grandma your baby moms and yeah I'm gonna catch you guys next time toodles